Hello, and welcome back to the studio. I'm Dr. Wiggo, and today we're going to be talking about iPad OS 26. The public beta is out, and I got it, and I installed it, and I played with it for a couple of days, and now I'm going to share it with you. It won't be as in-depth as some of the other videos out on YouTube, so feel free to search around. There's lots of them. But I'll tell you what I think. I think it's great, but I'll tell you why. The first great thing about iPadOS 26 is that it will run on iPads as much as seven years old. As long as your iPad has an A12 or better processor all the way up to the M4, you're good to go. The iPad Air from 2019 has an A12. So all iPad Airs after that will work. The iPad Mini from 2019 has an A12. So all iPad Minis after that will work. The iPad Pros started with the A12X in 2018, so that's a seven-year-old, and all the iPad Pros after that will support it. And iPad, just iPad, got the A12 in 2020, so the last five years' worth of iPads will work. So it's a lot of iPads that'll run this operating system. So the thing everybody's been talking about about iPad OS 26 is the liquid glass. And there it is. It doesn't look too glassy to start with. If you pull down the control center, you can see, see the stuff underneath. They've toned down the liquid glass part since the first beta for developers. We got through four developer betas before the first public beta, which is what this is. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the liquid glass. So there's lots of videos of people showing it off and doing all that, but yes, it's semi-transparent. In the first developer's beta, it was like sometimes unreadable, but they've come a long way and they'll probably refine it a lot more before it finally goes public for real, as opposed to the public beta. The main thing everybody's all excited about is windowing because the iPad's always been like a full screen app kind of thing, kind of like the iPhone. They had some slide overs and some other stuff, but it wasn't really windowing, kinda. When you first install iPad OS 26, it asks you, do you want to use it like old school, full screen windows, or do you want to use the windowing thing? And you have to decide then and there, but wait, under multitasking and gestures in the control panel. So when you first install it, if you choose full screen apps, not to worry, you can come in here into the multitasking and gestures part of the control panel and change it to windowed apps. But you'll notice over here, there's also Stage Manager. I never use Stage Manager, but it's the where everything flies away and comes in. I'm going to concentrate on the window stuff. Close all windows after swiping home is an option. Automatically show and hide the dock. And so on. But basically, so here's my notes app. If you grab down here, whoop, look, I got a window and I have the three little dots. So I can minimize, I can close, I can go back to full screen. But that's not the fun part. The fun part is what if you got another one? Here's the Apple website talking about all the compatibility of iPad OS 26, and so I can just shrink down Safari, and I can go back to my little dots, and if I hold down here, You can tile in a range. Well, here, let me get it. Let me get it back up. There's move and resize to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom, and then we have one big, two side by side, three side by side, or four quadrants. So you can kind of arrange them any way you want. And by the way, when they're side by side like this, you still have the little, you still have the little slider, so that you can change the sizes and do all that kind of stuff. But slide over is gone. So if you were one of the multitasking people who used to use slide over to do your multitasking on the iPad, that's not there anymore. You can do this, but you can't do the slide over. I never did it anyway, but maybe some of you did, and that'll be a big disappointment for you. Well, let's open more windows. Oh, and see, when you, swipe up, when you swipe up, it moves the windows out of the way so you can get to your icons. Let's open the iTunes store and window that. And then we can go to our little guy, hold it down. Well, that didn't really tile it quite the way I wanted. Well, 
it's still a work in progress. But you get the idea. And of course, you can go through and use these little guys to close them. Or you can still do it this way, the old fashioned way. So it's pretty cool. Uh, well, but, but see, it remembers. So now I want to go back to full screen. Another big change is background tasks. If you have a file on an external drive that you've plugged into your USB-C port and you're dragging it over from one of your enclosures, see my videos linked below about those. Well, you don't have to wait for it to finish. You can go about your business and it will run that copy in the background. And there's lots of things it'll do in the background. If you have DaVinci Resolve at rendering a video, it'll do that as a background task. They have rules. It has to be something that's finite, that has an endpoint, and a lot of apps are going to be able to take advantage of that. But they've also updated a bunch of the apps. For example, Photos. Bingo. There's the old school Photos app called Library. Now, you still have Collections, which is where it groups things together for you. Everybody complained about this. Well, you get Library back. So you can just scroll through your photos and look for the ones you're looking for. What the heck is that? Oh, that was, that was a video. I don't even know what I was doing with my phone. You never know what you're going to find in your photo roll. By the way, they don't call it photo roll. They call it library, but it's essentially photo roll from the old days. Oh, the files app, which I'm not sure where mine is. So I'll just type files. There it is. So we have this view, but you can do a list view. And you can do to change the columns and put in different things and sort by size. Newest, this is date, newest to oldest, kind. Basically the same kind of stuff you have on the Mac. I don't have any folders in here. So let's create a new folder. So tags are how you color. So I could make this folder red. And then you can put little icons and emojis, people. I have my red folder with the little airplane on it. That's my travel folder created today. Will that show up in recents? No. <laughs> I hardly ever use the Files app. But one of the important things about this, here, let's window this. and Let's grab this folder. You can put it in the dock. And then when you put things in the folder, Saying open the folder in files, or if I drag files in there, like let's just uh, go back to recents. Now it shows me the files that are in that. Now you lose the color because the file now takes over. I forgot to show you. Open with. So you can open it in Pages, which is the default, or you can open it in Good Reader. Or, just like on the Mac, you can hit Get Info and say Always Open With, and you can change what file opens with. So if you have lots of image files on your iPad, you can pick what opens them. You don't have to go to Photos every time. They've updated the Notes app. It has new pencil. Well, they said it. They said it had a calligraphy option. I don't see a calligraphy pen down here. But probably most significant are the apps they've added. Preview, like on the Mac. Now you can open PDF files and GIFs and all sorts of things. And you can edit them. And you, with the pencil, you can sign things in PDFs. I don't really use my iPad for this kind of stuff. That's why I have a Mac. Mac OS 26 uh, public beta has also just come out. And so I will be doing that probably next week. OK, now back. Where was I? Oh, preview. I didn't even know I had an Acer <laughs> LCD monitor. But here's a PDF file. Oh, and did I mention? The menu bar, look, here's the preview menu bar. So you can go file. So if you're using the keyboard, you can use the keyboard shortcuts, which you can learn by looking at the menus, pulling down the menu. 
Now it's with your finger. It's with your finger if you're touching, but if you're on the if you're on the keyboard with the trackpad, if you move the cursor up to the top of the screen, it'll drop down like it does on the Mac if you have high, auto high menu. Let's see, the cursor is now an arrow instead of the little stupid dot. And see if I slide up here, then there's my menus and I can pull those down. And it goes away if I bring it back down. Oh, and if you shake it, it turns big so you can find it. Not as big a problem here. On my 48 inch OLED monitor on my Mac, I need this shaky thing so I can find the cursor sometimes. They have added the journal app. I, I don't journal, but people who do, and it's been on the iPhone for a while, but now they've brought it over to iPad so you can move your journals back and forth. While the iPhone is great for journaling, because you always have it with you, sometimes you want to do fancier stuff, maybe use the pencil and do all that kind of stuff. Well, now you can do that on the iPad and you can do your journaling. The Games app, uh, I hate signing into Game Center. Well, let me check out my library. I got a lot of games on this iPad. A lot of games. Look at this one down here. Yahtzee HD added 14 years ago. Cube Runner 17 years ago. So it has every game I've ever put on here. Of course, I spend most of my time in the New York Times. Gotta keep sharp when you get old, so doing puzzles is a great way to do that. So I have that all in here. But now, especially if you got kids, you give the kid the iPad, well now they can find the games. They don't have to go searching through, find it if it's in a folder or somewhere. They just go to the games app and there they all are and Apple Arcade's in there, and you can play together, and you can do all that kind of stuff. And the phone app is on here. If you have an iPad with cellular, it doesn't have its own phone number and you don't call over it, but it will call through your phone, which my phone's sitting right over there. So I can make calls using my phone or FaceTime directly to whoever you're going to, because it'll do that over Wi-Fi. But you can make calls. You can do message filtering. You can do all the kind of stuff you do on your phone, except now you can do it on your iPad. Most of these things will also be in Mac OS 26 Tahoe, the public beta of which I will look at next week. It also gets a phone app. It also gets the journal. I think it, it may get the journal app. We'll find out next week. I haven't downloaded that yet. I've been concentrating on this. And clearly, I've not been spending enough time looking at this because I haven't tried enough of these things. It just came out a couple of days ago and I got to get this video shot and then I got to spend all day tomorrow editing and then get it up on Sunday. So I didn't really have time to play with all this stuff very much. I'm sorry if this is a terrible video, but most of my videos are terrible videos when you get right down to it. I do my best. So that was a pretty high level overview of some of the new features. The windowing feature is the coolest one and I'm really impressed with it. I love that. The liquid glass, it's kind of nice. It's, they're still fine tuning it. So by the time it's released in the fall, it should look really good. See there, you can see the liquid glass. See the icons behind as the glass moves over. It's a really big update. The liquid glass part alone is a major up. The windowing is the, probably the most major thing because now it acts more like a Mac, but it's not a Mac. You can't do everything a Mac can do. And it's really still touch focused. Although you can use the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard, but as you saw, like I can, I can get my menus down this way. So it's still touch focused. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, it, it's still in beta. These are early days. It's going to get better. We hope. No, it'll get better. And they still have to fold in some of the Apple intelligence stuff. So there's stuff coming, but not yet. That is my high level overview of iPad OS 26. And next week we'll look at Mac OS 26 Tahoe. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye bye. Got to go start playing with the Mac OS 26 now. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye-bye.